In this video, we're going to transform our handwriting into a font. Okay, so first off, we're going to go to this site right here. It's called this one right here. So we're going to go to the home page. You actually need to create an account here. You can pause this video and create an account. Once you sign up and verify your account, you'll get into this page right here. Usually it goes to templates right here. So what are you going to do first? Uh, we're going to go right here to the hamburger. Uh, you need to select minimal English and minimal numbers. On the download template, what we're going to do here, we're going to go download a PNG. Okay, so download it. Okay, choose download. You get this template right here. So what we're going to do is just tap and hold. Save image. And you go ahead and go to your Procreate app. And then we can just hit photo right here. And we're going to select the photo we, that we just downloaded from calligraph.com. Before we get started, we will just go to the action button right here. We're going to go to canvas and then crop and resize. We're going to go to setting. We make sure that we have a 300 DPI. My recommendation when creating this font, you can go ahead and select all the brushes right here, but I do like monoline and script. Monoline is, is basically a static to have your handwriting. You make sure that you turn into like all the way black. And you can do a lot of sample right here. So this is a good, pretty good size. So the monoline brush is very static. So you don't get any like dynamic, um, you know, pressure of your pen. Even if you put pressure, it's just the same. But if you want to have it more, a little bit more dynamic, you can go to script. So you can have those pressure. I don't put pressure and then I'll put pressure. More control if you want to make it like a really a handwriting. I'm going to go use this script or this part right here. As you can see, you have all the numbers and letters. So basically the letter A right here is for this box right here. And you need to be just in these three lines. And for the small letters or yeah, small letters, uh, this is these are pretty much four of it, especially if you're having this B right here. And like the letter J for the smaller letter is just a little bit more complicated. So I want to make a new layer just in case I mess it up. It's easier to clean. So let's get started with the exclamation point. And we're just going to do pretty much what you do with the exclamation. So I think that's okay. And you can do this right here. That's pretty much, I think I'm gonna adjust the brush just to be a little bit, I have more control. And then let's try again. So it's a little bit uh, like trier, trial and error right here. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay, we're pretty much done here. So what we're going to do here is to go to the action. We're going to go for share PNG. Okay, so it's successfully exported. Now we're going to go back to the, the same uh, website. So calligrapher.com and then we're going to go start app. And then my font upload template and we just have to select the template that we just saved from Procreate. 
So photo library, upload template. It's gonna process a little bit. And don't worry about the, the pixelation. It's just a preview, but we have to add character to your font. And then this is pretty much what it is. So we're gonna go build font. And then you can rename your font as you wish. Okay, so this R, we can preview size it. If you see, it's pretty much, see, it's very sharp and pretty much ready to go. We're gonna just uh, download it right here. You can select the TTF or uh, this is like the classic file for font and this is the newer version of the font. So I'm just gonna go to OTF and then you can see right here, just download that part and then it's just a little small size font, uh, file. So open in and make sure you hit procreate right there. And let's create a new canvas right here. So to try it out, you can go here in the action button. Uh, you can go add, add text. Okay, let's go right here. And let's, I think I name it crazy font. So it should be here. So there you go, crazy font. We just have to make it. They're really not aligned together. So that's the reason why we have to make sure that we are uh, creating it like the lines in there. So I'm just gonna go back. So it's very important that you are on the this part right here just line make sure that you're on the line uh, just to make sure that they're all see that right here so i'm gonna fix that and i'll get back to you okay so i fixed it quickly and i name it as brian font uh, a little bit more professional now compared to what we did a while ago so I'm just gonna test it out. And uh, I'm just gonna write out. Okay, so this is the font that we created. So I put all of it, like the, the letters and stuff. I didn't put the numbers, but this is actually the, the font that looks like. So you can see it, it's very readable. It's a little bit like a DIY font, but it has a good organic vibe and a little bit, a little bit like personalized touch. I actually create a poster. Alright, so I guess this is a sample of what you can do with your uh, with your own font. So basically, you can use it for title and also for a little bit of you know text because it's kind of readable right here, as you can see. Thank you guys, and I hope you learned from this. And I hope I want to see your handwriting fonts.